and you want to go see the Ducks and the Tigers battle for the title, then you better sell your car. The business of the BCS is booming as the beat starts now. Guess who's in the money today? Cam Newton et al. Andrew Luck has decided to go back to college for his junior season at Stanford, meaning Carolina will have to make some decisions on who to make number one, and Newton will be taking center stage on Monday night. But up next, business in the BCS is brisk. Our sports biz expert joins us to discuss everyone who is cashing in on the much-anticipated national title game. The sports professor Rick Horo joins us now for our weekly look into the business of sports. A couple of ticket brokerage sites are seeing what they say, unprecedented asking prices for tickets to the BCS title game. What is it about this matchup that's causing this type of demand? I was confused. I thought that was the demand for the Fight Hunger Bowl in San Francisco on Sunday night. Oh, no, 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 no. We still have five left. What's in it for it is the excitement of two offensive juggernauts and the fact that you have superstars, whether it's Cam Newton or Fairley on the Auburn side or, or whether it's James on the Oregon side, and the fact this is the closest game coming into it in a long time. Mm -hmm. Two undefeated teams, consensus one and two. Don't tell TCU that. And the bottom line is this is the crowning blow after 34 other bowls games my friend we get to make a choice here buy a car or go see this game at least that's what the ticket prices are at least that's what they're suggesting is out there Cam Newton, Nick Fairley are going to be two projected high draft picks on display Monday night. Here's the interesting thing about the upcoming draft. It will happen even if the players and the owners that are currently in the league end up in a lockout. So how does this affect who decides to leave school early? That is correct. What the, the basic uncertainty, and you know, ask ask uh, Luck, who decided to to uh, uh, take the certain route, is that when you go into the NFL, you're going into an abyss as far as a rookie salary cap. You're going into an abyss as far as any restrictions that are put on because you don't bargain for it yet. But the draft will go on, and the bottom line is that the NFL players are millionaires against arguing. The owners, NFL owners, are billionaires, and for the players who are willing to sit for an extra year not only do they have to contemplate whether their value will actually rise at the end of next year but what is left on the table because of the uncertainty should they choose to sit it out it's still though you still don't get paid to go to school you get paid to go pro whether they play the games or not right so so what would how would this yeah. change than any other given year well, what happened is that at least you have an idea of what your relative value is going to be. And, of course, if there's a wage scale that's currently in place, you pretty much only have to project where you're going to be drafted. Now you have to project where you're going to be, have, to have to be drafted, what the economics are, and, in fact, will you be playing next year? Mm. So they got a lot of choices to make here. Yeah. All right, speaking of negotiations, right, of choices to make. the uh, owners are going to have a hard time crying poor to the players as the numbers added up for the league this year, and they looked good, Rick. They look fantastic, my friend. The bottom line was on the attendance side, nearly 69,000 average. There were 10 teams at 100% capacity. Can't get any better than that. Television, there were 15 games, over 25 million viewers, unprecedented. And even the betters are happy. 20% increase in activity and a 10% increase in profit. And the bottom line of all of this, the NFL juggernaut continues. The revenues total are over $8.5 billion. That is a, an amazing goose that nobody wants to kill golden egg or otherwise no they don't and they got a tuesday night game this year by accident and that worked too so whatever they do can't go wrong even when mother nature gets in the way rick horrell thanks we'll see you next week all right man